wait for the okay this call is being recorded so we can start yeah. now yeah 12 32 afternoon uh, can we start now or we just give a few minutes eh, for your friend to join us what say you So maybe I will give another minute lah. Eh? Okay. Okay, class. There is a function inside Google Meet, okay, that able you to read every word I say. There is a caption, we call it caption. All right, maybe you can enable it. Huh? Because the system uh, able to hear my voice and then um, turn it into, into a sentence. Eh? But only in English, lah, right? But if I speak others' language, it will not be able to, to caption it. Eh? And then it is quite accurate, I think, yeah? because I already enabled it. I want to show you the, the example. Yeah? Okay. You see? The system try to not translate, but try to to what we call to change my voice into a sentence eh, that you can read, right? You can enable it. if you are using handphone. You can also enable it eh, if you are you using a uh, Google Meet apps. Not app apps application application. Okay. <laughs> Edits, apps. Is it okay? Okay. <laughs> oh, see, you pay one, okay. You say okay, and then the system will try to uh, uh, transform it to a sentence. Eh? We call it caption, closed caption. But maybe, uh, uh, maybe in the future, it will able us to, when we speak, for example, when I speak English, maybe uh, next time uh, it will try to translate it directly in, in Malay. For example, uh, uh, that is very, what we call the advance in technology. Uh. Okay, so we start uh, our class for today. So I will present you... Um, Hope you can see this, huh? Okay, can you see my, my screen sharing? Yes. Okay, so we are still in chapter two. The first subtopic for chapter two is 
2.1 cell structure function and organization all right and then yesterday we also already um finish what is cell and then what is the meaning of the cell how the cell reproduce by what we call a binary fission or the division of cell division of cell eh? meaning that from one cell it become two and then what is the purpose of division of cell right and then for the practical side of it so i think we can uh, continue the practical when you are uh, uh, when the school is reopen eh? okay and then uh, last time eh, uh, i also asked you to draw the structure of animal and plant cell okay and then make sure you identify the function and also the parts of both cell right <clears throat> and then also the difference eh, between the animal cell and plant cell in form of what we call the shape eh, in the form of shape and then there is a tree if you still rem remember there are three structure of plant cell that is not available in animal cell okay that is what the chloro uh, chloroplast vacuole and cell wall right i make sure you understand that and then try to you know to compare and contrast the difference between this both cell eh? plant and animal cell okay so if you have textbook on you you can uh, open to page 53 we're going to learn today what we call by unicellular and multicellular organism okay unicellular and multicellular organism okay so we go to the terms first both are cell <clears throat> okay both are cell but unicellular mean from uni means only one you just remember these are the organism that consists of only one cell single cell only one cell and then while multicellular it come from the word multi multi mean many okay are the organism that consists of more than one cell if an organism more than one cell we call it multicellular organism but if the organism consists of only one cell we call it unicellular organism all right so what are the example of unicell and multicell you can also uh you can also say unicell or multicell okay meaning same meaning all right unicell meaning unicellular multicell mean multicellular organism okay we go one by one what is the example of organism with unicellular organism yeah unicellular organism so number one uh, this part also very important okay you must be able to identify the unicellular organism first one is amoeba and then paramecium euglena and chlamydomonas <laughs> chlamydomonas okay and then make sure you're also able to identify the structure okay because this kind of what we call um uh, the picture or the diagram of the unicellular organism yeah sometimes very popular question on your examination paper maybe yeah uh, the the question yeah, will will show you a picture of organism so you need to choose it whether it is a unicellular or multicellular organism okay so uh just identify the organism okay so next one multicellular organism uh, multicellular as i like i said earlier con the organism that consists of more than one cell for example our human animal mammals all the reptiles eh? if you uh, the reptile what we call a uh, uh, mammals amphibians um uh, what we call that um birds and eh? fish are we all what we call a multicellular organism okay what is the other organism okay mucor spirogyra hydra and then all the the plants plants consist of multicellular 
organism. Any problem? Is it okay? Can I? Can I continue? Yes. Okay, very good. Just identify, okay, just able to identify which organism is unicellular and which organism is multicellular. That's all. Right? Okay, we continue to page 54. Right. Okay, so our next topic for today eh, is the type and function to uh, types and function of animal cell and plant cell. Okay, because we already uh, learned about there are uh, two type of cell, animal and plant cell, and then you are, uh, we are already learned about its function and the parts. Yeah? So, we go animal cell first. Uh, we take human as an example. Yeah, Human is a multicellular organism. Why we call it multicellular organism? Because inside the human, we have many types of cell. Okay, not just one cell. Yeah, we are one organism. Okay, it is is it true? We are one organism, but the building blocks or the single unit of life in our body is made of many type of cell. Not just many type of cell, but also there are million, if not billion, of cell that build us as human. Okay, so we go one by one. What is the type of the animal cell here? So the first one, we call it epithelium cell. Epithelium cell, okay. What is the function of the epithelium cell? Protects organ in the body. Okay, epithelium cell. Uh, maybe we can find the cell uh, in the skin, yeah? At the skin, our skin. Our skin, we call it epithelium cell. Protect organs in the in the body, right? So the next one is what? Nerve cell. So what is the function? To carry information in the form of impulse to all parts of the body. Okay? Again, in this topic, you must able to identify the shape and then the what we call the... Um, the shape or the form of the cell. Yeah? So if you find out this type of what we call a, um, a shape of the cell, so you can say it is an epithelium cell. Okay, next one. If the nerve cell, so you can see uh, this is type of the nerve cell. Yeah? So if you, if you see this picture, if you see this image, so uh, uh, automatically you will know that this is a nerve cell. So nerve cell is what? Uh, animal or plant cell? Animal or plant cell, class? Animal. Of course. Very good. Correct, yeah? So it is an animal, animal cell. Okay. And then do not forget the function also, eh? A nerve cell to carry information in the body in the form of impulse to all part of the body. Okay, next one. Next one is what we call by Muscle cell. Okay, this is the picture of our muscle cell. Okay, what the function of muscle cell? Contract and relax muscle to enable movement. Contract means what? Contract means it become, become smaller. Relax mean, meaning that it will become relaxed. Huh? The, the muscle will, will, will flex. Okay. Uh, one of the only function of the muscle cell to enable movement okay because there are so many many muscle cells inside our our body right to enable movement please also identify the shape of the cell also right okay this is the shape of the muscle cell okay next one okay uh, the next cell inside the human body we call it a red blood cell. Again, just identify the shape and then the color also. Yeah? And then, uh, what is the function of red blood cell? Okay. One of the function of the red blood cell is to transport oxygen, number one, and then transport carbon dioxide. Okay. 
transport the oxygen from where? From the from the lung to all parts of the body, and then the transport of carbon dioxide from the cell back to the to the lung. Okay. So the other characteristic of red blood cell has no nucleus, and then we we call it a B concave disc shape. You can see uh, this is what we call by B concave disc shape. This one, and this the B concave disc shape like this. Okay, this is the normal shape for red blood cell. Okay, but the primary the primary uh, function of red blood cell is to carry oxygen. Okay, to carry the oxygen because cell need oxygen to perform, to function. Huh? Without oxygen, the cell cannot function and then it will die. All right, that's why we are breathing, right? That's why right now we are alive because we breathe. We breathe what? We breathe the air. We breathe the air that contains oxygen. Uh, air that contains oxygen, we breathe in and then the oxygen carried by the red blood cell and then the red blood cell carry the oxygen to all parts of our body and then we inhale what? We get in oxygen, we inhale oxygen and we exhale what gas? What gas? What? Carbon dioxide. Yes, carbon dioxide. Yeah? All right, we inhale oxygen and then we'll exhale carbon dioxide, All right? Okay, so this is a red blood cell function. And the next one is white blood cell, right? A white blood cell, uh, just uh, one of the cell inside our blood. And then the function of it is to change the form to surround, change their form to surround foreign particles and destroy them. Okay? Maybe uh, there is uh, what we call uh, bacteria uh, infecting you from the wound, for example. If you have a wound, eh, kalau kamu ada luka, if you have a wound and then the bacteria and the, the germs can come in eh, uh, through the open wound, and then what is the function of white blood cell? It just fight off the bacteria or the infection. Okay? Foreign particle. Foreign particle mean maybe the bacteria or the viruses. Okay. This is the word. This is the job for white blood cell to protect you from infection. Infection from what? From bacteria or from the virus. Okay. Bacteria or the virus, we call it a foreign, foreign particles. Okay. This is the, it's just like an army, lah, huh? an army inside our blood to take care of our body from infection, right? Okay, next one is reproductive cell. Reproductive cell, there are two types of reproductive cell. One is, we call it ovum, and then one is, we call it sperm, okay? Ovum from female, and then the sperm is from male, okay? This is also, a type of cell, uh, okay. This is also an example of animal cell. And then when the two cells fuse together, right? When the few, uh, when when both cell fuse together, okay, it will become new offspring or a new individual. But this is only in animal, uh, animal cell. Okay, uh, what the cell carry? The cell carry male genetic materials and ovum carries female genetic materials what are the example of genetic materials in female or in male okay genetic material for example here is what we call uh, for example the color of the hair and then the the shape of the nose and then the color of the skin and then whether you have curly hair or long hair eh, sorry straight hair or curly hair whether you have blue eye or, or brown eyes, okay? This is what we call by the gen genetic material. For example, if your father has curly hair and then your mother has blue eyes, okay? Maybe the, the, the what we call the genetic material from the mother and father will, will what we call um, inherit to their children, 
Okay, this is what we call by genetic material. Is it okay? Can you understand the gen genetic material inside the reproductive yes. cell? Okay. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, very good. Nice. Thank you. So this is reproductive cell, right? There are many. Uh, I just give you a few sample, a few examples of it. There are many material genetic, what we call genetic material uh, from male and then from female. Okay, that's why some some of the what we call uh, some people may say may may look at you and then maybe they say, oh, your eyes look like your father, your nose look like your mother, right? Uh, that is the what we call the different in material material genetic material from mother and from father inherited in you. Okay, uh, for example, yeah. All right, the next one is what we call oh finish yeah. So how many? Uh, cell, you just need to remember one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, in form one, they are you just able to you know remember the six type of animal cell. Actually, there are thousands, yeah? there are many, many more animal cells inside our body, but you just we need uh, we just need to remember these six only. And then, of course, if you have what we call you want to 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 look for further information you can always uh, scan the qr code here there is a video on structure and function of cell and then also in youtube okay you just type in the keyword type of animal cell there are many there are many what we call video uh, that can um, give you the explanation about about the about the cell right okay so, epithelium cell, nerve cell, red blood cell, muscle cell, white blood cell, and reproductive cell. This is example of animal, animal cell. Okay, can I continue? Yes. Okay, good. So, next one is what we call a plant cell. Okay, as the word suggests, only in, only in plant. Okay, how many plant cell uh, you need to identify to know first one is what we call the uh, epidermal cell epidermal cell eh? epidermal cell function reduce water loss and then allow gases exchange and absorption of water and nutrient usually epidermal cell at the surface of the what we call leaf yeah one of the parts of plant is on the leaf or we call it shoot shoot or leaf okay or the what we call the the shoot of the plant okay because the shoot or the leaf of the plant usually carry what we call carry the photosynthesis and then carry a few process that we're going to talk about it later yeah but you just remember epidermal cell reduce water loss and then allow gases exchange absorption of water and nutrient in plant okay Right, next one is palisade cell. Palisade. Palisade. Palisade, okay. Yeah, palisade cell, yeah, not palisade. <laughs> because I'm using the caption here, yeah. It, sometimes it try to, to, to correct my pronunciation. All right. Uh, palisade cell contain chlorophyll. What is the function of chlorophyll? Absorb sunlight to carry photosynthesis. Okay, so after this, we're going to learn about photosynthesis. Maybe I think uh, after you come back to the school, we will do the, the, the experiment, right? So the second one is palisa cell. And then the next one is guard cell. Control the opening and the closing of the stoma. Uh, this one also we will learn the detail about gut cell in topic 2.2.2 2. 2. yeah in topic 2.2 2. okay and then root hair cell all right you just just try to read the the, the, the description of the each of the cell yeah so in plant cell how many we have root uh, root hair, root hair cell, we have gut cell, number two, number three, we have palisade cell, and then number four, epidermal cell. Okay, 
So for plant cell, you just remember only four. And then for the animal cell, you only need to remember one, two, three, four, five, six animal cell. Okay. Of course, there are many, there are a lot type of another cell, but for form one, these are the cells that you just need to identify. Okay. And then uh, what we call compare, right? Animal and plant cell. Okay. Can I continue? Are you still there? Yes. Okay. Now it's 12.57. So... Um, I think I will I will I will uh, try to finish uh, check uh, two point one today. Lah. Okay, the formation of an organism, the formation of organism, like I said earlier, human is unicellular or multicellular organism. Class, anybody can answer me. Multi. Chang Ying, Jing Ying, yes, yes, human is multicellular organism because human build okay inside our body there are thousand if not million of cell working together okay the building block or the single unit of life of inside our body yeah, consists of many many cell All right so we are what we call a multicellular organism Okay, I just keep to the to the most important things in here. So, this is what we call the cell organization. You must remember this. Okay. So, what makes us as uh, what makes us multicellular organism? Because we are consist of cell, and then after that, becoming tissue. What is tissue actually? Right, tissue is the cell with the same function sorry a cell with the same function and then they combine together they group together we call it tissue what is cell a cell is what we call the cell inside an organism specific specific function for example in animal we have epithelium cell one epithelium cell we call it cell but if the epithelium cell combine uh, and then group together, we call it the tissue. Okay? Is it okay? Until now? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cell, only one cell. And then when cell group together, we call it tissue. Okay? For animal cell, For example, here they take the epithelium cell as an example here, right? So one epithelium cell, we call it cell, and then when they group together, we call it tissue. We call it epithelium tissue, lah, yeah. And then, um, when there is, and then it will become organ. It will become organ. So what is organ? You can see here, organ is the tissue that work together. Okay, tissue that is work together. All right, so it will become organ. Organ consists of many tissue with different or with same cell. Who can answer me? Organ. Organ. Okay, consists of uh, a group of tissue, same cell or different cell. Anybody? You look at the picture here. Look at the picture here. Ah, uh, this one. This is an example of organ. Okay, it's a group of tissue with same cell or different cell. Different. Yes. Yes. Correct. Ying Ying. Yes. Okay. It is a different cell. Okay, you can see here, this is epithelium tissue. Uh, this is one of the tissue, and then this is nerve tissue. So you can see here, organ means you have a group of tissue with different cell. Okay, so it will make up, it will uh, make up, uh, it, it will be organ. It will be organ. Okay, can you see, can you, can you um, understand the organization of, organization of cell? Yeah, 
Okay, next one. Very good. All right, next one. After organ, it will become the system. Okay, what is system? Okay, system is the a few organ related function, a few organ that works together. Uh, that's what. That's all. Eh? To perform a specific system. Meaning that if you look at the uh, picture here, right? For example, digestive system is one of the system. Okay, but it consists of many organ. For example, large intestine is an organ. Small intestine stomach esophagus mouth this is all organ yeah this is all organ working together we call it a system okay a system all right can you see the what we call the organization from the smaller and then become the group and then it also become group and become larger and larger until it become organism so what is organism? Organism consists of many systems that work together. Okay, organism uh, is a system, uh, many systems that work together to support an organism. For example, we as human, yeah, we are multicellular organism, so it will become organism. Okay, so you must remember. From cell, it will become tissue. From tissue, it will become organ. Organ will become system, and then system will become organism. Okay? Cell, just a single cell. And then tissue, meaning the group of cell with the same cell. And then organ mean what? Uh, organ mean uh, the many tissue. All right? And then system mean what? A uh, system mean there is many organ. And then organism meaning that many, many system. Okay, same goes to the plant, but I will skip this. Okay, you you can read it for this. Uh, you can read it yourself. In plant also the same, yeah. But I already uh, the same concept, the same explanation that I already give you in animal cell. Okay. All right. So next one, the system, uh, system in the human body, system in human body. What is system class? I just said you just now system consists of what the system many is consists organ. of many organ many organ yes system of many organ yes yeah many organ that work together in order to to achieve a function so now uh the example uh, these are the example of the system in human right the first one is what we call the excretory system okay if you can see the excretory system consists of how many organ skin lung and kidney skin lung and kidney is a different organ but they work together to form a system to form one system okay so what's the function of excretory system remove waste from the body just remember that remove waste from the body okay right next one is what next one is number two we call it a skeletal system skeletal system okay this is the the, the second system in human all right consists of skull and bone and then what are the function support and protect the body and this is skeletal system huh? make sure you understand eh? you make sure you understand the, what we call the the organ related okay okay then all right system number three we call it lymphatic system there is one organ that we call it a lymph node right so what did the uh, lymphatic system drains lymphatic fluid into blood vessel to protect the body from the infection of bacteria virus and others okay inside our blood there is uh, what we call for example the white blood cell yeah 
white blood cell um, inside our our uh, inside our blood will try to fight the disease. Okay, where the red blood cell produce, it will produce in lymphatic system. Lymphatic system, yeah. Okay, next one, number four. Next system is digestive system. Consists of how many organ? Mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, and large intestine. And then their function is to break down complex food into simpler form so that easily absorbed by the body. Meaning that the food we eat need to be digested, need to be processed in order for our body to absorb it. Okay, you still remember what is the why we need to eat? Because we need to get the what? We need to eat the food because we need to have to have what? Now, why, why you need to eat? Tiny. Now, why you need to eat? Why do you need to eat? Because to obtain or to gain? Yes, correct. To give or to, to obtain energy. Okay? But the food we eat must be processed. Huh? We cannot absorb the food by what we call like that. It must be digest. We must what we call um we must chew it first. Okay, put into the mouth. Uh, put into our mouth. We must process it first. Then our it will then it will be digested or absorbed by our body to gain uh, to to give the energy, right? So the four system system number four in human digestive system. Okay, next one. System number five is muscular system. Muscular system, okay, consists of muscles that able us to move, okay, able us to smile, able us to, you know, to, to, to change the shape of our face. Now, there are many muscles inside our body, okay, able us to, to pick up an object, to hold an object, to run, to walk. And then to dance. This is all controlled by the muscular system. Yeah. Okay. Number six, integumentary system. You just remember, integumentary system consists of our largest, biggest organ in human. That is our skin. Okay. You just remember, our skin is the largest system in. Uh, sorry, the largest, the biggest organ in human is our skin. Not brain, not lung, not the heart, but our, our skin, the outer layer of our body. Okay, so what is the function? Protects the body from dehydration and regulates body temperature. Very important. Our skin is very important. Huh? Without our skin, huh, can we survive? the environment, we cannot survive the environment, okay? Do not think about the color. The color is nothing. All of uh, everything is, the color is what we call a superficial only. You know, you know what superficial? Maybe some brown color, yellow color, white color, but it doesn't mean, eh? it means nothing. Skin is just a skin and then you must need, you must just know the process or what we call the, the function of the skin that is more important than the color, right? Okay, next one, number seven. Nervous system consists of what? Brain, spinal cord, and nerve. Okay, what is the uh, nervous system? Can you feel cold right now? Can, or can you feel hot? Yeah. Can you feel the pain? Yeah. Can you feel the touch? That's all control. That is one example of nervous nervous system okay can you hear my voice right can you see the the camera can you see the handphone of the the computer that is all consists of nervous system okay all right next one number okay what happened okay next one blood circulatory system and then respiratory system okay 
how many system you need to identify? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Oh, last one. Sorry. Endocrine system and reproductive system. Okay. They are one, two, two, four, eleven uh, system in human that you need to you need to know. Okay, the rest of it you can uh, read it for yourself. And if you have any question, you you please be free to ask me. All right. So, what are the system that you need to learn in form one, form two, and form three? Okay, I just give you a glimpse on here. So, you need to learn some of the system in form one, form two, and form three science huh? for the for lower lower secondary. Okay, in form one. This system you need to learn from one. Reproductive system. Chapter what? I think chapter number four. Chapter number four is reproductive system. You need to learn about reproductive system, yes. Form one. How many system you need to learn in form one, form two, form three? But only form one, only one system. Reproductive system. Right, endocrine system may be in form four, if I'm not mistake, in form four. Okay, tingkatan empat baru belajar endocrine. Respiratory system, we will find the topic on form three. Huh? Blood circulatory system also form three. Ah, uh, form three baru belajar. Okay, and then nervous system. Nervous system. I'm sorry. Nervous system is also form three. Okay. Muscular system maybe form four and form five. Integumentary system from four and from five. I, I uh, later maybe maybe um maybe from four and from five lah. Okay. But I just uh. Uh, the 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 lower secondary first eh i uh, i i what we call uh, <clears throat> explain lymphatic system no maybe in form 4 and form 5 digestive system you will be learning in form 2 okay Musc uh, what we call this excretory system form 3 and then skeletal system, maybe skeletal system form four and form five. Okay, uh, don't don't worry. In form one, okay, in form one, you just need to learn reproductive system, chapter four only. Right, that's all. Okay, don't worry lah. Eh? No, nothing to be worried about. If you understand and you have interest on it, so you be you will be saying that uh, it is quite what we call uh, quite um, easy actually yeah but you must have interest and then also you must have what we call a good uh, command in in language also yeah bahasa itu mesti mau bagus lah yeah okay so any question before we stop here no okay if there is no question so we all already finished chapter uh, sorry subtopic 2.1 the from uh Subtopic 2.1 already finished. So I need you to do the homework for today. Formative practice 2.1. Okay, formative practice 2.1. And then for workbook exercise, you continue to question 3A, 3B, and question three, yeah, sorry, question three and question four. Yeah, question three and question four only. Yeah, and then the formative practice 2.1. Don't worry, I will give the instruction again in our Telegram group. Um, and also you can uh, ask the question also eh, in, our tele in, in, in our Telegram group as well. So I think we stop here. Okay. So thank you for your attention and uh, and what we call cooperation and focus as well. 
So we'll be meeting again. When? Where is the timetable? The timetable is science on Wednesday. Mana lagi? Monday and oh Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. Wednesday. Okay, meaning that you try to finish all the question, the exercise, and then we have how many days? You have uh, well, four days, yeah? Uh, no science. Uh, any question, you can ask me on the Telegram group, okay? So we meet again next week on Monday, okay? Thank you very much for your cooperation and focus. So we'll end the class for today. Thank you very much. Bye bye and thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yvonne. Who else? <laughs> bye bye.